today, Tony and I are at Watoma Rental we're in Central at, Wisconsin. We're gonna look at a bunch of still stuff. We're gonna go fondle saws. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go do it. So Tony and I are inside Watoma Rental Watoma Center. Watoma Rental. Where you buy all your saws. Right. And they have a lot of saws. They just don't happen to have this one or this one today, which I would buy that one if they had it. <laughs> Everyone's heard that. He would buy it if they had it. Yeah. Now I will ask if they have it in the back though. Oh. That's... So you're ready to put your wallet to work? I might be. I might be. You know, now, I will tell you, Chris. I still have my first communion money. So. Well, I know, I know. <laughs> you got to start shedding some of this and help the economy. <laughs> but here's the thing. I know you're a Husqvarna guy. However, do you ever get anything like this? No, never saw that before in my life. That's probably some kind of poison. No, nah, <laughs> no. Nah, it's going to be a sweet deal. No pun intended. <laughs> oh. No, that's cool. I got all kinds of good stuff here. A lot of the, a lot of the new equipment that's out. And, exactly. Uh, this is here. Hold that a second. I'll, I'll show everybody. This is probably the one I should get right here. Yeah, just, you might want to get Kenny over here to help you. It is huge and very, very heavy. I mean, I would love to have it, but I don't know if I'm man enough to handle it. Well, that's for sure. It's, it is big. It's this huge. This is really heavy. You're talking about the saw? Yep. Okay. Yep. Always, always about the saw. See if I can get it back in here without killing myself. Yeah. Come on, get in there. Got to lift it up. I'm trying. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's a, that is a big piece of equipment. I can see where the only time you want to use that is if you're cutting down or yep. you're cutting a tree and you have somebody else pack it in and out for you. That's it. <laughs> or so, hire somebody. Yeah, hires, hires a team of young men to carry that. Yeah, that is that is just a, a huge heavy saw. And look at this one here. I wonder who's going to buy this one. Who do you think is well, going to buy that? I don't know. Or you do know that our member or one of your viewers, Roger M., uh, who bought my 1222 Easton made splitter yep. called me and asked me if I wanted to sell my MS 660. So after I got my 500 here, mm -hmm. I hadn't been using it. So I told him yes. So I sold it to him. So all I'm doing is replenishing my saws. <laughs> replenishing your stock. Yes. So I've been waiting for this and they were able to finally get one for me, a 462 CM. Nice. We're going to have to maybe go run that today. Well, we, we can. Um, I'm still waiting there on back order on the uh, light bars, mm -hmm. but we will get one as soon as they come in, but we will take the power head with us. Yeah. Yeah. You've got some extra bars we can use. So. Exactly. Yep. I'll, yeah. use the uh -oh. light, I'll use the light bar from the uh, 500. Yeah. So now comparison wise, this is supposed to be what comparison to the 500? Well, the 500 is almost 80, 79 point something mm -hmm. cc. This one here is 72.2. So that's very similar to any of the Husqvarna 572s. Yes, exactly. 76, 72, yep. 372. Yep, great balance on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is 72 cc. Nice. Yeah, Kenny ran one of these out on the ice cutting holes the other day, and that was quite the saw, too, that 660. Mm -hmm. Six, I think it was a 661. Had to be, that's it was, the it was 661. Brand new. That's right, the new one. New. It was brand new. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this place has a little bit of everything. They've got uh, a lot of toys. Back, backpack blowers, lots of those. And they've got lots of trimmers. And then they got their whole battery. The new technology, technology on batteries. Stuff. Yep. And the guy was just telling us there's three different... Uh, levels you can get. There's the. Uh, this is the uh, mid range. Mid range, and then there's. This the was consumer, the consumer, right? And then there's the pro stuff, which is over here. And uh, there's there's a big jumps in price, but obviously it's big jumps in quality and longevity too. So, which is what you want. And they got the big pole trimmers over here. And then they got their component systems, right? That's what this stuff is mm -hmm. here. So for a lot of guys, this is like heaven. Absolutely. And then they do rental equipment, which is what you see, a lot of rental stuff here. 
Yeah. Well, look at here, you got all your fluids. I didn't know steel made hand pruners. Yeah. Do they make them themselves or somebody I'm else sure they them? private label just like any of these from other manufacturers. So it's, maybe it's Fiskars that is making them. Yeah. It could be. <laughs> it's possible. And then they got uh, sprayers, sprayers, blowers, blowers. Yep. axes. Oh, here's a nice PV right here. Mm hmm. And a picaroon, if that's what they call it. Axes. Oh, and these are the concrete. Mm hmm. Splitters. Here you go. Everybody needs one of these. Yeah. And we also have clothing. Clothing. Why would anybody wear that? I know. No, that's nice looking stuff. I actually like a lot of the, the steel equipment. Oh, they, they even got stock in Oh, beanies. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So if you get a shirt like this, it looks like you work for the company. That's it. You're like a technician. Oh, <laughs> how do you like that? Do they have their pants? So are these? Oh, these aren't steel. These are Forrester pants. Oh, so they're just jeans. They're not yeah, like they're safety just, pants. That's it. And they got safety gear. So very cool. A little bit of everything. So you buy like one saw a year here, pretty much. Um, I replace. <laughs> I replace. As I mentioned, I've sold all my consumer saws and replaced them with right, right. pro saws. Just now, you also mentioned that um, Mike. From right, K Mike from K and L. Right, right. He came here. And well, his saw. no. What happened was he couldn't find a uh, MS four hundred in Indiana, mm -hmm. so he had called me. I said, "Let me go to my local mm -hmm. dealer. They happen to have one here." Yeah. I called Mike, and he said, "Could you buy? Could you get it for me?" And I, yeah. So credit card away, and uh, I shipped it to him, and he's a happy camper. Yeah. And now, then he came a while ago and ran your 500. Now he's getting a 500 here. Here, well. Or he already got it? I think so. Or he's thinking about it. <laughs> oh, he should pull the trigger, don't you think? Uh, there's no <laughs> doubt in my mind. <laughs> yeah, the no 500, doubt. Is, 500 is an awesome saw. So. Well, I, I have to say you cost me money too because, you know, once you told me that I needed three saws, 70 cc or above, well, which makes sense when you're cutting a lot. If you cut all day long, it's nice to give them a break. Exactly. And it's it's just like you know a lot of people don't realize the saw heat is is an enemy. Mm -hmm. And if you're cutting in the summer, especially, you gotta let them cool down. You just yeah. have to. I've tried running one saw on an 80 degree day all day long. It will quit on you. It won't start. Huh? Yeah, they just don't want it. And you until it cools down, they I don't know what there must be something. Maybe they got something in there, but I couldn't get it to start one day. It was just so hot. It was a day I shouldn't have been cutting anyway, and uh, yeah, I cut all day long, and at the end of the day, it just didn't want to go well, anymore. Well, unfortunately, most of the viewers probably are one or two saw yeah. kind of people. Right. Well, you should and that's have, the same thing, right. you know. It's, I think you should have two, and the, the other one that I'm thinking that would be really good to get would be one of these, the these, top little, handle. these little guys for doing lemming, or just to well, have at home. As I said, Instead this one right saw. here, I have the 192, which is a small. It's great for doing marking of your logs. Or what I like is once I cut the tree, this is great limbing saw. I had a, an arborist show me this trick with these, and it, it saves you a hell of a lot of time yeah. and more than that energy. Right. Now, would you pick a, a top handle over just a little mini saw? Absolutely. And Without why, a why doubt. Why is that? Because Even lighter? Just er ergonomics. Yeah. yeah. You're just cutting this way. You're not holding it. You know, right. it's, right. you know, they always say two-handed, but single-handed really works nice. Mm -hmm. Cut it and throw that away. Cut it and throw that away. Right, right. I just wonder if it's smarter to have a top handle versus a gas one versus a uh, battery-powered one. Well, once again, I'm still <laughs> on the fence on battery powered, yeah. especially in the field, because I can quickly fill this up. Right. I mean, we were cutting a lot of multifloral uh, rows at my buddy's house, and I would just go in there and right. cut them all up, and then he would take the tractor and move it. And, you know, we went two, three tanks full on this. Now it's a smaller tank, but. Right. It really cuts nice. And once you commit to a battery system, you're kind of stuck you're with it. You're stuck with it, That's yes. That's what you're going to get. <laughs> yep. And the longevity of the battery keeps going down. They only have so many charges in them. Right, right. Nice. Here is the latest technology that they have is the light bar. And it's usually about a pound, pound and a half lighter than standard blades. Yeah. So. 
They're a little more costly, but I'll tell you what, when you match this with a 462 or a 500, it really is balanced very nicely. Right, yeah, because I notice a lot of saws, especially the longer bars, they get, they get front heavy. Nose heavy, heavy yeah. yeah they, get, they get real heavy. A wide variety here. Yeah. PPE. Files and all the goodies that everybody needs. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, you should get these, Tony. These, just look oh, is that my you. color? That's your color. It's pink. <laughs> Although I used a lot of pink. Now, what is this up here? Oh, that's a power gun. Got it for pressure washing. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they even got vacs too, holy smokes. I didn't know they made vacuums. Neither did I. There you go. And snow blowers, snow slappers. Oh yeah, that's for on the front of this thing right here. Right. Yeah, for throwing snow. So it's, this, is re, this is replaceable. Or you can this, exchange this, it for other things. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a multi-tool. Mm-hmm. Yard boss. That's kind of cool. And what is this here? Oh, that's the pressure, pressure washer. Pressure Yeah, nice. And over here's the blowers again. I think we covered everything. I think we covered everything. Yeah. Nice. I'll take one of each. Yeah. Mm -hmm.